Hey guys, it's Mile. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my September beauty monthly favorites. I'm so excited that October is almost here. October is my favorite month of the year. It's just, I don't know, it's just a happy month for me. I really, really like it. So for starters, I have really been loving, like, excessively loving my mac fix plus my skin goes through its ups and downs and for the most part it is pretty oily com combination oily but sometimes it can get pretty dry it just does what it wants to do this has been a lifesaver i have sprayed the living crap out of this on my face like i'm not talking about one two three sprays i'm talking about like ten um, at the end of the makeup application because I just want my skin to feel like hydrated so this is amazing to hydrate your skin this isn't really a makeup setting spray like it's not going to prolong your makeup but it does really really hydrate the skin so this next product I have a kind of love-hate relationship with this is the EX1 Invisawear foundation I'm wearing this today I like it sometimes I love it sometimes I don't I really like the line because it's meant more for olive kind of undertones, more yellow undertones, and I have a more yellow kind of undertone. I have two shades. I have F100 and F200, and right now I'm in between these shades, so I just mix them. I like, I like it. Like, it applies really nicely. It does not cake up. It doesn't cling to any dry patches. It blends really smoothly. But sometimes I feel like it can get a little oily a lot faster throughout the day. It depends on my skin and how it's doing. And also, it can not wear very long. Like, again, it depends. Sometimes I get a decent six to eight, maybe, maybe eight hour wear. Other times, it just kind of disappears pretty fast. A product that I have been loving and I am so buying the full size as soon as I'm done with this like sample size is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. This is just a little sample, but this is meant for combination to oily skin. This is so amazing. I know this is bad, but a lot of times I won't even wear a moisturizer. Um, like I'll just spray some Fix Plus on my skin, but I won't wear a moisturizer under makeup because it will make me oily like that. And I hate that. And I finally tried this one out. I had heard really good things about this. Finally gave it a shot and I love it. It does not make me oily throughout the day. With or without makeup, it really moisturizes the skin. Like your skin feels nice and soft and plump, but it absorbs into the skin quickly. For highlight this month, you guys, like seriously, it's Champagne Pop. Like I cannot get enough of this shade. I use it all the damn time. It's actually the glow on my face today. It is such a beautiful, perfect highlight. If you guys don't have this, please, please pick it up because I feel like it goes well with so many different makeup looks. Like you can make it work with so many different types of makeup looks, like seriously, like I'm not even kidding. I don't know how many highlights I swatched on my face today like and put it close to my skin. And this is the one that was just like, this is perfect. This is the perfect one for you. I definitely, definitely recommend this. If you guys haven't tried it, try it out. This is a collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. From Becca Cosmetics. It is limited edition, so get your hands on it while you can. It is perfecto. As like a bronzer slash contour powder, more than anything bronzer, I have been using the living crap out of my Smashbox Suntan Matte Bronzer. Now, this has been discontinued. I found mine in a CCO and they had a lot. I found it in two CCOs in two completely different towns or cities. So I bought a backup, and because I bought a backup, I've been using this one. I had to stop using this one because I didn't want it to like end, because it's so good. So if you have a CCO nearby, definitely try to look for this product. And it is the creamiest, like absolutely creamiest bronzer I have ever tried. It's so pigmented, but it blends like a freaking dream. It's so, like, it feels like a cream. I have never felt a texture like this on a powder unbelievable to give more of a glow to the skin i have been really using my mac mineralized skin finish in global glow this is definitely shimmery as heck it gives such a nice glow like golden glow to the skin like a j-lo glow i generally use this when i want a little bit more like i want a little bit more of a healthy luminous glow to my skin so I just lightly dust this all the, around the perimeters of my face and it just looks so beautiful on the skin and for blush Clinique pop oh my god this is beautiful this is a beautiful blush it's a nude perfect for everyday blush and these blushes are matte but they have a healthy looking sheen to them like there's no shimmer in them 
They're like a satin blush. It's so perfect for every single day, year round. Love it. Blush I'm wearing today. Have been abusing this. Um, I think I've mentioned this before in a favorite. This is Max Eyeliner in Costa Rich. This is a red and brown eyeliner. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. This is an eyeliner that I feel looks beautiful on every eye color. Green eyes, brown eyes, hazel eyes, whatever you have. I feel like this will bring out a different, like dimension if your eye has like a different type of undertone for example my eyes are green but they tend to get yellow it depends on my mood my eyes are my mood rings but with this I feel like it really brings out that like light yellow shade or if you have brown eyes I feel like sometimes brown eyes have like this honey kind of reddish undertone to them and I feel like this brings it out so beautifully I have three lip products to show you two of them are from Ofra these are the liquid lipsticks I actually did a lip swatch video on all the ones I own and I'll link it down below for you guys to see um, I love all of them all of these shades they're stunning they're beautiful but there's two that I have really been wearing out this month the first one is in Pasadena. This is a pink with brown undertones and a little hint of mauve. And then the other one is Kathleen Lights Collaboration, and this is a Miami Fever. I love this shade. It's like a burnt orange terracotta kind of shade. It reminds me of fall of a pumpkin. It is probably one of the most unique shades that I've seen in a while. I don't really have anything like this in my collection. And I love that it's called Miami Fever because Mama's from Miami, and it's perfect. I love it. I'm mentioning this because I know this is coming out soon. I think it's coming out, if it hasn't already come out, at the end of this month, if not October, hopefully. But this is Dose of Colors Stone. Right now this is sold out, but they will make it a part of their permanent collection as soon as they release it, re-release it. It's like a dusty, pinky, mauve kind of shade. It has a little bit of gray to it. I don't know. It is so beautiful. As many mauve pinky shades as I have, I don't have one that looks like this. Not exactly like this. And the Dose of Colors formula is really, really good. And finally, I want to get into all the palettes that I have been loving this month because I really have been loving a lot. So I want to get through it really fast. First is the Balm Meat Matte Nude. Love this. This has such big eyeshadows. Um, the Balm always has flash sales for 50% off and that's how I purchased this. So I think I paid like $18 or $16 for it. This shade is probably one of the most beautiful shades in the palette. I love, 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 love using this as a transition shade. It is such a good matte palette. You guys know I love my matte shadows. You guys know how I feel about them. These blend super smooth. It's probably the best palette that I have from the Balm. Another matte palette, because you guys know, <laughs> is the Lorac Pro Matte. I don't remember. I think I've mentioned this before. I don't know. I don't remember. But I've really, really been loving this. I really feel like this is such a good matte palette that is really good for travel. It has all these shades, which aren't as warm as I would generally go for, especially for transition shades, but they're pretty neutral. Actually, in my Ofra liquid lipstick swatch video, I was using this palette. This is what I had on my lids. And the other one is the Lorac Pro Metal Palette. Now, this one is limited edition. The matte palette, I, I'm pretty sure it's a part of the permanent permanent line but this one just has all shimmer shades and I do believe that this is exclusive to Ulta if I'm not mistaken but this is the shade that I had um, in the Ofra lip swatch video this is the one that I had in the inner corner but these are so 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 buttery like they're so pigmented they apply so nicely I just I love them and I feel like those two Lorac palettes are palettes that work really really well together and finally I have my Morphe's brushes 35 O palette I'm actually really really surprised with the quality of the shadows these are pretty damn good like they're pretty damn creamy really nice and pigmented they blend really really nicely and what surprised me the most is that the mattes are nice and pigmented but the metallic ones they're pretty damn pigmented like when i first saw everybody freaking out about this i initially wanted this palette because i just love the shades i loved the warm shades i loved how beautiful it looked and then i saw people swatching and i was like wow that looks really impressive i love all these shades i love that they included like this camel kind of khaki green shade right here it does not have a black you can get the wet and wild panther eyeshadow for 99 cents it is a bomb black eyeshadow if you really want a, a black eyeshadow but Besides that, this palette screams fall to me and I have been using it non-stop. I do plan on filming a tutorial with this. 
And that does it for this month's favorites. I have been loving a lot of stuff, as usual, every month, for the most part. I talk and yap so much about everything that I've been loving. Please let me know what's been like your standout product of the month. I would love to know. Put it in the comments for me to read, and I will. And yeah, that does it. That pretty much, I think this is the fastest I've ever gone through a favorites video. I love you guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will see you guys next time.